Hey guys, what's up? So to mention you guys how to record and stream your ad spots using OBS Studio. So this is a great way, um, instead of using your Elgato, which I actually have an Elgato, um, you guys can use this, it's less wires, it's so much easier and it's a lot cheaper. Elgatos do cost you like 150 or even more than that, so you're spending a couple hundred dollars for an Elgato, which is great, but literally this is as good and more convenient and cheaper. Uh, you have to connect your wires, HDMI wires, and all that. This connects on the go. Uh, only thing bad about this is that you do need to connect to the S-Bot, so I'm pretty sure this only works on Windows uh, computers. You can try on Mac, but uh, yeah, so it'll be in the video. So first off, you have to head over to the Microsoft Store on your Windows computer, and you guys want to download the s -Bots app. So once you guys download the s -Bots app, what we're going to do is actually remote into um, and mirror our screen, and then you can actually use OBS Studio to uh, record. You probably could use a screen recorder as well, but it might be a little laggy. But with OBS Studio, you can actually um, record or stream like that window itself, so it makes it uh, less laggier. So go in here, red spots, download this S Spots app, which you can see I already have it open. I mean, installed. So we go here and download it from you. I'm gonna open it. And you guys want to sign in with your S Spots live account. And after you guys do that, you can see I'm already signed in on the top. You can see right here, this little button right here to say consoles. We wish you guys to turn your S-Bots on, sign in with the same profile you guys are signed in with on here. Tap on, click on here. Then we'll click on your S-Bots, right? Because I have it on. And first off, it's going to remote connect it. You might have to go to your settings on the S-Bots and just like figure it. But when you first do this, it's going to come up and saying, do you want to connect? And you just want to pretty much say like, yes, I want to connect on your S-Bots. And that's really it. It's going to actually load. And there you guys go. So now you can see when I move. It's not lag at all. It literally moves as I move it. Ready? Move, stop, move, move, and stop. So it's it's completely like not laggy at all, which is great. So what I'm gonna do is actually uh, put all mouse on the top, and then this will come down. Click on that, and then we can actually go out of here. And what else you're gonna do is download OBS Studio. You guys can go on Google and just stop and just type up like OBS Studio uh, and download. And then you guys download the Windows or Mac one. I think it's a Mac one. Download the Windows one. Um, so it stops remote sharing, so you guys make sure you guys don't actually go out, see, go home. So instead of actually uh, minimizing the page, it does stop it. So we're actually going to go back here, back into it, just to do this. So now we're back. Okay, cool. Here. And instead of minimizing it, we're actually going to go to here. So it's still on. All right, so now we can move this around. All right, so once you can just keep this right here, open up OBS Studio. So close on again. There we go. All right, so now you see um, pretty much when you first open this up. Uh, yeah, this is the chat screen. I don't need that right now. Okay, so what you guys want to do is. Okay, use the dots menu bar. Okay. So what we're going to do is actually go. Um, like when you first open this up, you're going to be like with a blank screen, right? Just like this. So what we're going to do is actually go um, sources, right? Tap, right click, tap, click on add or hover over add and then this will come up you guys want to click on game capture right and then you can name it like game capture at spots or whatever you guys want um and then we're gonna tap on do that spots want different name tap on okay and then what we're gonna do is actually just click on here and then click on right here uh capture specific window and then we'll go to window and they're here at spots click on that and there you guys go and then you can configure the settings if you want defaults i'm gonna tap on okay and there we go. So now we can actually click on start recording and then we can actually, um, you know, pretty much record our screen. Just like that. It's that easy. So you guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm actually going to show you a little clip of me recording on OBS Studio in here. Like I said, you do have other options like the Elgato, but I mean, I think this is so much cheaper and faster and more convenient option. But yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, guys. So we do are on the Xbox right now. A um, little tiny laggy, but still not too bad. You can see everything is functional and everything is working. You guys can feel free to add me on Xbox. But yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like. I mean, let me go to a game.